Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's learn something about haptoglobin. Haptoglobin is an positive acute phase plasma protein and it is usually seen in high concentration during inflammation. Haptoglobin is synthesized by liver and it is always present in the circulation. They are also called as suicidal proteins. The main function of haptoglobin is to bind with extracorpuscular hemoglobin that is the hemoglobin that is present outside the erythrocytes otherwise called as free hemoglobin. Why? Because free hemoglobin is bad and our body cannot tolerate free hemoglobin and free hemoglobin is known to cause lot of pathological effects. Let's see what happens if, hemo if haptoglobin is not there in the body. Imagine there is hemolysis going on, for example, intravascular hemolysis. So the blood cells are ruptured and free hemoglobin is released into the circulation. So these free hemoglobins will go to the kidney. And the free hemoglobin can easily pass through glomerular membrane. But free hemoglobin is nephrotoxic. Kidneys cannot tolerate free hemoglobin. And they can also cause oxidative stress on the body. So it can lead to acute kidney injury and inflammation. But in the same scenario, if haptoglobin is there, then the circulating haptoglobin will bind with free hemoglobin and here you can see that a complex of hemoglobin and haptoglobin is formed this hapt this complex is sensitized by macrophages and the macrophages will swallow this complex and free hemoglobin is cleared from the circulation so the important role of haptoglobin is to bind with free hemoglobin prevents oxidative stress and inflammation that is caused due to presence of free hemoglobin and it prevents free hemoglobin induced kidney injury and it also helps in efficient utilization of iron because hemo since hemoglobin can easily pass through the kidney uh, hemoglobin contains iron and iron is very crucial for erythropoiesis so if hemoglobin is excreted then the body loses lots of iron so haptoglobin helps to salvage the iron and it it helps the body to utilize iron more effectively by preventing its loss and one more thing haptoglobin hemoglobin complex is very stable and it cannot pass through glomerular membrane. The entry is, is strictly restricted. So haptoglobins, haptoglobins are commonly increased during infection, inflammation and steroids. Steroids in the sense it can be both endogenous and exogenous steroids. Haptoglobins are severely decreased in hemolytic anemia and hepatic dysfunction in hemolytic anemia due to excessive free hemoglobin the amount of haptoglobin that is available in the circulation will go and bind so that creates re reduction in numbers so haptoglobins are reduced in hemolytic anemia and since haptoglobins are produced by liver when there is hepatic dysfunction or destruction of hepatocytes again haptoglobins will not be produced in sufficient amount so they will be reduced in numbers so they will be reduced in amount coming to sample consideration haptoglobins are stable in serum and if you want to store the serum sample you should store it at minus 70 degrees and if you store it anywhere below that then it can reduce the concentration of haptoglobins 
and uh, coming to anticoagulants heparin can actually increase the concentration of haptoglobins so do not collect blood in heparin for haptoglobin assays dogs receiving endogenous exogenous steroids and having endo endogenous steroids in excess amounts will have high haptoglobin concentration so the methods of estimation in laboratory for haptoglobins is spectrophotometry and nephrometric assays i hope this video was informative thank you so much for watching